Hi, my name is Lee Hudson. I'm Aviation Week's Pentagon Editor. Today, I'm with Captain Tony Rossi, P-8 Program Manager, and Lieutenant Evan Gordon, a U.S. Navy P-8 pilot. The P-8 is the U.S. Navy's maritime patrol aircraft. Its primary missions are anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare. However, the U.S. Navy is also using the aircraft for humanitarian assistance and disaster relief efforts, as well as search and rescue. Captain Rossi, could you tell us about the capabilities of the P-8 aircraft compared to the P-3? So P-8 is a heavily modified version of this Boeing 737, uh, which we've taken and, and weaponized, put hard points on the wings for carrying uh, anti-ship missiles. We put a weapons bay in the belly for carrying torpedoes and other weapons. Also put sauna buoys, and then we've migrated over the, the most advanced, latest versions of the same um, mission system sensors we used to carry on the P-3. In the process of doing that, I think one of the biggest leaps we got was that reliability that comes along with the 737 airframe. Uh, P-3s often struggle just to get off the ground for a flight, but the P-8 gets off pretty much every day. As we also did that integration of all those mission systems, you took similar sensors that you had on the P-3, but you've now integrated them in a fashion where every operator can log into a workstation and see what every other operator is doing. He has a much more holistic picture of, of the battle space, the situation they're in, and they're able to utilize other sensors to cross queue, to, to reference, and make a, a more, uh, better situational awareness and a better uh, ultimate outcome to the mission. Could you please describe the various missions for the P-8 compared to the legacy P-3? Absolutely. So, so the aircraft is was originally bought as the multi-mission maritime aircraft, and it really is that. So, so the primary focus of the U.S. Navy is to recapitalize that broad area ASW capability, and it's fantastic at that. But it also brings significant ISR capabilities, also anti-surface warfare capabilities, and it's really shined recently in uh, both humanitarian assistance, such as hurricane relief, and also multiple events where we've saved folks during search and rescue events. Uh, the aircraft, as far as flying, is, is totally different. The uh, yeah, There was a lot of concern early on with uh, handling at low altitudes. That has not been an issue. And the, it's just such a smoother ride for the operators. The P3 were, were noisy, a lot of vibration. Uh, there was smoke in the, in the fuselage from launching sauna buoys. The P8 is a smooth, quiet ride. Uh, the operator you know, comes off the flight and, and could go again, frankly, if they had to. It's really just a, a much, it's more of a pilot's aircraft operating than the flight station and much more uh, accommodating to the crew in the back. This is an exciting time for the program. Could you please talk about international interests and uh, the foreign military sales customers? Sure. So we've been a cooperative program with Australia since 2009. That's going fantastic. They delivered seven of their 12 aircraft, and they actually met their IOC five months early. So, so that's going very well on the cooperative development and production side. We also have a good amount, and we actually had some exciting news recently. So our most recent customer is uh, actually New Zealand signed on just a few days ago. Uh, but we also have the United Kingdom signed on for nine aircraft. Norway is signed on for five. And we continue to have some interest from a few other countries. So we think there'll be more to come here shortly. Wonderful. Thank you. Hi, Lieutenant Gordon. Could you please talk about flying the P-8 and how it may be different from flying the legacy aircraft? So I have no flight time in the P-3. However, I've been trained by all the aviators that came before me and flew the P-3 platform. Uh, the P-8 performs wonderfully uh, at all altitudes, uh, great maneuverability, and can accomplish every mission that the P-3 could. Uh, the comfort factor of the P-8 is leaps and bounds beyond that uh, provided by the P-3. Our air crew uh, in the back operating the systems as well as our tactical coordinators are all well wet. What are the mission sets of the P-8 aircraft? For the uh, P-8, we have a wide variety of uh, sensor suites and capabilities that allow us to accomplish the um, traditional anti-submarine warfare as well as surface warfare, and then um, increased capabilities uh, recently for search and rescue as well as humanitarian aid and disaster relief. It's an exciting time in the P-8 program with New Zealand just signing on to be a foreign military sales customer. There are sure to be more to follow. I'm Lee Hudson for Aviation Week.